good morning, good evening, good night. Welcome to the Dear Love Podcast. You can catch us at Apple Podcasts, Spotify, YouTube, Listen Notes, Google Music, Podbean, all that good stuff. You already know how this go. Let's get right into it. It's funny how you wake up and just see that the weather has dramatically changed in your life. <laughs> like, seriously, one day is warm and cuddly and cool. And then the next is a blizzard outside. It started like a couple of days ago. I was at work and, you know, a little snow started falling. And I'm like, eh, all right, I see where we're going here. I see, I see what we aiming for. But then it just turned into a full blown snowstorm. See, the crazy part is we know that it's coming and we still don't be ready. And I've mentioned this before. Like, how can you, what do you do? You know, we can prepare for things and still not be ready. You're getting married. You could prepare for your wedding and still not be ready. Sometimes you got to just jump over the bridge no matter what. And you got to just take a chance and just do it. I'm kind of at a standstill myself. Like, huh, do I want to do this or do I want to hold on for just a little bit longer? Just a little bit. See how long it takes. You walk down that aisle. It's jittery. You got the bugs. But you finally say, I do. How does that make you feel? You get it over with. And then you live to see another day. And you just go with the choice that you made. And that's what I suffer from. And a lot of people suffer from. We get so comfortable that we forget about the choices that we got to make. You got to just do it. And say, you know what? I did it and I'm going to just live with it. And I'm going to learn from it. Stand your ground. We do a lot of things and take it back. You ever let somebody borrow some money and you wanted it right back, like right then? Or you hounded them down for that $5 that you let them get? Why? Take it as a loss. You made the choice to give somebody $5. They didn't have it in return. What you going to do? That's another thing we have to realize, like when we make decisions in our mind, we already be having an end result that we want to happen. If I call and I bug you about this five dollars. And I say, I don't have it. Well, I'm sorry. Well, you say you don't have it. What am I going to do? I mean, seriously, it's five bucks. What I'm going to do? Am I going to look for your address and come to your house? I mean, what are we going to do? You get so many people like at my job who come through the line. Let's say we don't have a specific item or something and they get so upset. They'd be ready to fight, ready to kill somebody. What's next? Okay. We don't have ice cream at the moment. What should we do? Should we fight over it? Should you take it as a loss? Because some people don't realize nobody's perfect. And what I mean by that is, Places run out of stuff. Just like humans do get upset. Pets do attack sometimes. Nobody's perfect. You get everybody on, on these um, news channels and different things. Oh, attacked by their dog. Well, yeah. <laughs> it's not like out of the norm. Pets, uh, people, whatever. Like we all have feelings. That's why it's super important to make decisions that you comfortable with and that you're actually going to stick with. Because, again, what is your purpose when you do something? What is your purpose when you tell somebody, I hate you? What do you think is the result from telling somebody you hate them? What comes from that? Do you think they're going to love you? Do you think they're going to treat you better than they treated you before you said you hate them? Those are the things you got to think about. So, again, the decisions that we make, we got to stand our ground and stand by them, and we got to represent them. Because you don't want nobody talking about, oh, man, man, Teray, when he come around, man, he do this and he say this, but he don't be meaning it. No, you got to mean everything you say. 
So again, it's okay to jump over that bridge sometimes because it's a decision that you're comfortable with. Well, you don't necessarily got to be comfortable, but you you made it. And you got to live with the result. You got to grind it out no matter what. That's why I never really understood why people question themselves all the time. But I think they do it because the people around them and what people say and how people feel. But who cares? If you want to make that decision, you make it. It's just like we make fun of people. Let's say the weather is like 70 degrees. We make fun of people who got like 17 hoodies on. Like, man, 70 degrees. Why are you doing it? You know what I say? Because I do stuff like that sometimes. And you know what I tell people? Listen, when it rains or when it get cold outside, I'm going to be looking at all y'all crazy because y'all going to get rained on. And y'all going to be crying, talking about my hair. Oh, no. And I'm going to just be looking at y'all. You always got to be prepared for anything. I don't care if it's 70 degrees. I need to bring me a hoodie, a, a jacket, uh, some boots, whatever, because weather's unpredictable just like humans. We don't know what we want, and that's the main reason why I say when you make decisions like uh, borrowing money from somebody, you got to know the results on your end, too, because not just the person giving it to you, but if you borrow money and you really don't plan on giving it back, you got to be ready for whatever come with that. But in your mind, you already got it set. Hey, look, I'm not giving this money back. I'm with whatever come with this. But you got to be about that, man. But again, we unpredictable because you don't know what people going to say. You don't know what people going to do. You think you're giving them the $5, they're going to give it back, and they turn around and be on some trash. Weather, unpredictable. Walking down that aisle, do you know for sure when they say, I do, that tomorrow they won't say, I don't? Do you know? You don't. So you got to just live with the decisions. When you tell somebody you love them, you got to just live with the results from it. Don't be afraid. Just do it. It might turn out good, it might turn out bad, but at the end of the day, that decision was made and it's yours and you own it. And that's the best part. Dear love, T. Shaw, I'm out of here.